Yeah, they had off the Corvair project for a day or two. I'm going to make this cover. Give you a shot here. I'm going to make this cover. We're putting AC in the car. Took the heater box all out. Got an under dash AC unit in here. This is a flimsy plastic. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm not fond of plastic parts. If I don't have to use them, I'm not going to. And the boss feels the same way. So we're going to make this out of some 20 gauge. I'm not real fond of plastic. And this cover just doesn't make the grade. So that and there's a bolt that comes through the firewall. And it sticks out a little too far. It kind of puts a hump in this right along in here. It's got a hole for it, but we're just going to make this little lip a little longer. We don't need that hole. We'll cover it up. A little custom work. Nothing to write home to mother about, but hey. Give myself a little extra. So, that's the start of our pattern. Don't worry about the holes later. And now what I want to do is have myself a little, little fighting room for making the rest of it. Give myself a cut line. This hair is kind of rounded, but we're going to give ourselves a little extra. Kind of find a, where it hits. And we'll come up here. And we'll come up here. This is kind of cheating a little, but hey, what can I say? We're all freehanded. That's what they make grinders for. Connect the dots, just like you were back in kindergarten. Doesn't have to be exact. Alright, that's your rough outlay. Now we get it cut out. We'll go from there. Now we know we left a little extra. On everything. So, oops, a little too much extra. Uh, 
Right. Yeah, that's our outside. Oh. We'll get that cut out. Give us something to work with. And I'll cut it a little bigger than the line. I can always grind it back. Yeah, we'll use the air powered shear. <coughs> One thing you always want to remember to do with this stuff wear gloves. It will cut you, it will be sharp. Just trying to get away from that shitty corner. All you fabricators out there, this particular piece of equipment might look a little strange to you. I thought it does to me, simply because you can't weld with it, that's for damn sure. In case you're wondering, I don't like these. But, I hate these tools. If you make a mistake, you can't weld it back on. Alright. Hey. That's worse than grinding. I got these red line. Hey, where did you put your blue handle cutter? So, all right, you see these tabs right here? The tab thickness is actually the same thickness as the plywood that was just made. And what's going to happen is on the metal portion, it's going to be trimmed up to the red line. And from the red line to the main body of the, uh, the white template, that's the portion that's going to end up getting folded over the, uh, uh, the plywood to create the side piece and so it doesn't stick completely all the way up against the firewall flap. Trim that back to the red line. Mm -hmm. Then I got a lot less metal to fold over. The next song will be a dance. 